sweet. All right, so let's get to work back on this little guy. Oh man, it's still hot. No, oh, I tricked you. Come on, you do that. Well, let's have a look at the welds. Kind of liking that. Looking not too bad. Could have been a little beefier, but I guess maybe I was kind of going a bit fast. But we'll uh, probably do a little reinforcement welding, you know, because this thing's going to be digging like gold out of the freaking Yukon thingy, right? So, but anyways, uh, we got our uh, tracing paper back there. So we're going to get um, set up here and we'll trace around the, the Deweys here, you know. So anyways, uh, I guess we'll get tracing. All right, so I got some tracing going here, and if you can kind of sort of imagine, you can really change up the angle of what you want your things to be here. So, um, hang on, I got her pinched here. Right. So, I mean, you could go more that way, or more straight down. I don't really know what to say. I'm thinking something kind of in the lines of that looks good because I know this piece wasn't included in these outside pieces they were sort of welded in around here and then the outside piece was welded that went down here I guess sorry and that was the support piece so I don't know uh, I'm gonna go have another look at the other bucket there and just get a refresh my memory blank a bit so let's go do that well it's not a huge steep angle I don't know, uh, I'm looking sort of at this plate on that side there, right, where it's trying to minus out the the piece that's welded on the outside, like the, the supporty piece there, so I'm trying to minus that out of the, the equation, so they've kind of got a bit of a schloop in her too, right, so, but I don't know, I'm just going to kind of go ahead and see what looks good, I guess, and uh, drive on with that. I don't know, I think I'm going to slap it on right there somewhere, but I'm going to draw a straight line across, and then uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to do that swoopy thing like they've got. It's kind of sort of neat looking like it swoops down and over that way, but uh, we'll see what we can come up with here. Well, I thought I was going to have to cut some off the front here, you know, but jeez, I think I'm pretty darn near right on the money with that. So I got her sort of that shape, you know, and I noticed in the other bucket it so it wraps her up around the bar a bit there, and then uh, the other piece would mount right on top that would go down here, right? So uh, I'm probably just going to do her like that, but now i got to keep in mind um, what's got to get cut out of here. Because this whole top piece I don't think is here, it's just the, uh, the basic inside that gets welded here. So this would be all metal, the inside, plus then it comes out, you know, like a scale whatever inch around the outside and that's what you have weld in around there right so um, I'll just have to remember that when I'm cutting this out leave a little bit of a gap there you know like a whatever scale inch whatever you call it again right but uh, yeah I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty good here so anyways we'll get our skizzers out actually looks pretty good hmm, try her I don't know might be screwed might be good might, who knows so anyways, um, let's get, uh, get the scissors out, get the cutting this. Alright, that should look uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, we got her something like that, actually. You know what? I think I'm going to leave her that length, what we got there. I must have nailed that right bang on, maybe. But, uh, should be good. We got her a little bit of a gap all the way around. Enough just to, you know, weld it and stuff. And gives it a little bit extra wear protection, too, I guess, right? And then in around here, we got that. And then these will run the other Deweys um, a little bit higher than this. And then a strip, I don't know what. Well, it won't be like this stuff, but you'll get the idea. You know, you run like a thing down to the where your teeth mount on on the front here. So I'm um, looking pretty good. I'm kind of liking that. And this actually should work for that way too, right? So I don't have to trace trace a couple that'd be kind of nice so and you can sort of see the lip around there so that'd be awesome but anyways um, I guess we'll put that aside for now we'll keep our uh, thing here too 
We'll clean up here a bit. And uh, you'll never believe how I, I drew the uh, angle for that. <laughs> I actually took a piece of this soft, soft, soft stuff here and put her on like that and then just kind of modeled it until I got where I liked her and then drew the line underneath it. Worked pretty good, you know. I'll wash my hands now because that stuff's like lead, but... But anyways, um, let's clean up here. We'll go grab a hunk of, hunk of, hunk of stuff to cut and uh, should vacuum this, clean this up too. And uh, then we'll cut this, uh, draw this template on and cut her out. Okay, so there's our tracing and uh, same material as the curl part. And uh, I guess we will um, get cutting here. I changed my uh, filters on my Dewey, so they were pretty friggin' nasty. Um, yeah, so uh, got the plasma all set up, and it's gonna be freehand, so I don't know how else is gonna come out. I'm gonna try my best, but this stuff's not super thick, so it shouldn't be too too bad. But uh, anyway, so maybe we'll get you set up here, and uh, we'll get cutting. Alrighty, now we got a couple of side deweys. Man, it's starting to take shape now, eh? Holy, that's actually starting to look like a little digging bucket. Kind of digging that, eh? Hey, <laughs> get it? But anyways, um, I'm pretty happy with the way that's looking. It's going to need a bit of here and there and, you know, back and forth and this and shaving here or whatever. And, but I'm pretty sure we're good to spot weld that on, make her a little more permanent. And, uh... A little bit more rod hanging out this side, I see, than this side, but actually that's okay. I might have to shave a bit off here anyhow, because by the time we get our other plate thing on and, and go down here, she'll be uh, she'll be pretty darn good. So, anyways, I guess we'll set up the uh, the miller and uh, plug them in and stuff and uh, get these positioned and spot weld them on. So, uh, I just kind of kind of do it by feel. It's pretty good right there, you know, and then, and uh, yeah, something like that. So, anyway, so let's get spotting. Okay, so we're all tacked on, and uh, I guess we'll do some longer tacks now, and then uh, we'll just give her. Uh, so I'm going to speed this up again. I know I messed her up yesterday, but uh, for some reason, my editor, if I go over four, 425, or if I go over 400, it screws all the audio up, takes it all out of sync or whatever. So I'm going to try it today at 400. I did a test there last night after it was all uploaded and stuff, and uh, 400 seemed to work good. So, anyways, let's try that at that.
Well, there we go. She's uh, definitely not going to come apart. <laughs> because, you know, I did the inside and the outside. So, yeah, she should be good and strong. I think she'd actually probably dig if you had a machine to go with it. But, uh, you know, just for fun, I think she'll be good. So, uh, what's the next step? Um, I want to build like a scale, uh, whatchamacallit, on the front where the stuff like mounts to. Uh, it's like the little edge, cutting edge, I guess you would call it. It's a bit thicker there, right? Where. I got one here somewhere. Where? 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 Exactly. Where? Huh. Well, I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Um, so it's a piece, thicker piece where this mounts on, right? So this would be like your like your tube thing that goes on there. So, but it's got to be a lot thicker than just this material. So I'm kind of thinking to be scaleish. We go with something like that in there, you know, and then our teeth would mount on to them things. So let's go have a look at the bucket, the other bucket. Okay, so you can see from underneath the very bottom, you get this real thick hunk here, right? And it goes uh, all the way across. So it's kind of why I didn't weld right to the end because I figured I'd have to chew it out anyways to uh, slap in uh, that piece. So yeah, then. Uh, our teeth things will mount on, so I'm not too sure 100% how I'm going to do the teeth yet. I've had a couple of ideas and stuff, but uh, I'm not, not sold on anything yet. So we'll just have to wait and see. But um, anyways, let's go work maybe on that uh, bottom slabby, slabby piece. Alright, so measuring this up, uh, if we went uh, 7 inch, that'll give us about a quarter inch out each side. It's probably scalish. So we got 7 set up here. And uh, we're going to chop. Alright, so we got that traced out of there. And uh, that'll fit right up inside of there, right? And then uh, she'll get welded on the backs, on the sides, and then on the plates that come down too, right? So, uh, I'll just keep that off the side. I'm going to go at her with my uh, air-powered die grinder thingy. Just chop, chop, and then down there and then chop the other side out. Should get her fairly close. Fill her back in with weld anyways, right? So, right on. But, uh, yeah, we'll just cut this out and uh, show you when we're all set. Okay, so we got ourselves a little scraper bar thingy ready to rock. Got her all chopped over there. Seems to fit pretty decent. Anything else will get filled in with weld. So, I guess we're going to go and tack this on now. And, uh... Oh, it's still really hot. Uh, I guess I'll tack it from back here. And I don't want to weld too much down the side of that yet because I know the thing's got to come down into there, right? So we'll, we'll do some along here and then the other side and uh, in the inside and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's get tacking. Okay, so I forgot to press record. <laughs> but anyways, we got her tacked and welded. She's on there pretty good now. And uh, let me just pull the... Uh, do we got here? <coughs> Now it looks wide, but once we get those side plates on, don't forget. Oh, that's really hot! See that smoke off there? Yeah, that was my hand. Holy. So yeah, she's welded in, so that's where the actual teeth will get mounted onto. And I uh, still don't know what I'm doing for that yet. Uh, figure something out, some, something anyway. But, um... They're probably going to be, uh... Like this sort of stuff. Maybe heated up and bent, you know, right around or something, and then weld it on, and uh, I'll probably weld all sort of inside of that too, right, and uh, that'll make her look like she's sort of 3D-ish kind of thing, and uh, look actually like a tooth, so, but anyways, uh, I think I'm going to let this thing cool for today, and uh, we'll get working back at this, I guess, tomorrow, and uh, we'll do some uh, side plates, you know, that go right around over top of that and then down follow that curve that's going to be tricky um, well it shouldn't be too bad we just have to draw the profile of it and uh, figure it out from there so now I'm probably just going to use this stuff again 
for those that'll make it look sort of beefy enough right um, I think that's all it really needs I don't I think if I went like half inch stuff or even this stuff I don't have this stuff wide enough but I, I just don't think that would look proper compared to like a thing going down there this size so um, actually you know this size maybe it wouldn't be too bad but like I say I don't have that stuff big enough to make that curve you need like a fairly wide hunk of it like that was three eighths or something yeah but uh, if I got a wider piece you know that was there to there and you could cut her out of that but uh, I think I'll just use this stuff here what I got half inch would probably be too much it would look kind of goofyish. Uh, what have I got for a small piece, a half inch? We could put up here. There's sort of a cutoff piece, but see, yeah, uh, that would look too, too monstrous. Ah! So yeah, it seems like that stuff's that thickness. That's probably like a quarter inch or something or whatever that is, and that's probably the three eighths. So it is a little bit thicker. So. It would almost be good to go with that 3 8 stuff, you know, but man, that's going to be a fairly wacky, uh, thick, wacky stuff, and I don't really have any anything wide enough for that, so I don't know what the heck to say. Holy, all kinds of bells and whistles ringing today, but anyways, uh, figure that out, I guess, tomorrow, because i got to get rocking. That uh, first phone call was the cemetery phone thing ringing, and uh, I've got stuff to do now, so... Anyways, uh, let's head her out. All right, so I think this camera's just about done. Uh, when she fell off the dewey yesterday there, she must have done something. So I am using the SD card today. But I guess it still spills up the hard drive, and whenever I start it up, it does that squealing thing like something set a line somewhere. So, but I don't know, whatever, whatever happens. But uh, my fault, my mistake. Oh, well, wrecked my good camera. But uh, anyways, uh, she still works. You know, just, uh, it's just weird when you turn it on, it does that, and I just tap the front like that, and it seems to go away. So, something's maybe loose inside now or something, I don't know. Is it rattly? A little bit. But, uh, I don't know, I'll have to start using my uh, my Sony again, or not my Sony, my Canon. I'm not super crazy struck on it, but uh, it works. It does work, so. But, um, and then I got my little, small little handheld uh, Sony as well and it doesn't have images image stabilization so it's kind of cruddy that way but um, makes everything kind of wonky and you know I can shake this a wee bit and it doesn't look like I've sh shook it at all right so yeah Burr. but uh, anyways um, I'm just heading up to um, the place where I get metal stuff from um, just for a small piece of that 3 8 maybe see what they got how wide they got it and uh, maybe I'll just get a couple of feet of that you know just to make her look kind of scale-ish shouldn't cost that much money so I'm not too concerned about her but uh, oh John your green car nice it's for a tractor boys not for a car oh hey that was really lame looking but all right he looks John your green that's cool so uh, looks like I got some goo on my face again there oh well stand blast that off maybe probably gonna have to but uh, oh anyhow uh, yeah we'll just head up here see what they got uh, if I get maybe a six or an eight inch uh, flat bar piece of three eighths by 24 inches long I'm sure that should be long enough uh, maybe I'll just splurge and get a four foot piece just in case you know because you might always want to use her for another project for something or if I happen to make another bucket like that it's probably not gonna be that thick of a curl on her but uh, you know that thick of steel because it was a lot of heating to get that bent but uh we'll figure something out we will figure something out but uh kind of thinking now making this little bucket that um i wouldn't mind making another actually little bucket that actually might work on my machine you know like uh i know i've already got a little bucket there that little 12 inch or whatever it is but uh that wasn't made by me you know it's kind of a nice feeling to make something, build something like that, and stick her on a machine like that, and actually get it to work, you know, and, and use it. So uh, the thing I'm thinking of is making a bucket really sort of short, but deep, if you know what I mean. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, something that I can dig cremation holes with, you know, uh, something you know that I don't really need to 
put a huge, huge long bucket on and our huge 24 inch bucket just to dig a little 12 inch hole and uh, we'll go, go with something like that. So uh, I don't know when that's going to be, but uh, that project, but uh, sooner than later, you never know. So uh, we'll figure, uh, I don't know if I'll be rolling the metal like I did like that with that one nice and stuff. It might be more of like a squared kind of bucket, you know, like uh, play here, play here, play here, play here, and then weld her together. So it's going to look kind of squarish, robotic-ish looking and stuff. robotish looking. I think that's a new word. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, we're almost to the metal joint here and uh, we'll get in there and uh, oh, got to see what's coming down the road here now. Tractor, farm sim, yeah, like that game. Except he's doing the real farm simming. New Holland, holy, he's got a load of poop or something there. But anyways, uh, a couple more turns, we'll be there and uh, we'll see what they got. See what I mean? <laughs> Weird, eh? Yeah. So, uh, anyways, uh, we got we got a piece of stuff. Uh, Frig, they had everything there. Holy man! Oof. So you know your visa's the limit, basically, right? Holy! Wish I could take the whole shop back there with me. Holy! And imagine the stuff we'd build then. But, uh, anyways, we got um, way more than we need. But you know, like I say, we could probably be able to use it for an art project of some sort. Who knows? So. Um, it uh, is a friggin' expensive place though, you know, but uh, I mean they treat you well, they look after you right away, you walk in, get your stuff, walk out, you know, as long as it's not like a huge order or something, you know, like you want 7,800 friggin' two inch pieces cut an inch long or something, you know, then then, then they'll tell you to frig off probably, but uh, anytime I've been in there, it's, yep, yeah, no problem, just walk to the back with your uh, sheet and give them to the guy and he cuts her for you and away you go, so, you know, it's, uh, pay for that though I guess eh? <laughs> when you're when you're paying like that so um, but anyways uh, we're almost back to uh, homish there and uh, whenever we uh, get back I'll uh, show you what we picked up for tomorrow not for today that's it for today so anyways we'll be home soon okay so they must not sell much of that because she's a bit dusty and stiff from sitting on the shelf but there she is so we got uh, was a 12 foot hunk I guess so um, 12 inch wide by 3 8 thick and 4 feet long. Figured that'd be lots, so uh, should be way more than lots actually. I can probably get the two strips right there even, but or even maybe even right there, I don't know, maybe. We'll see how, how long, but uh, you know, I got lots of extra, just uh, lots of extra. Just, uh, just uh, you never know, for other projects, so. But uh, yeah, that's it for today, Tubes. Um, not much else gonna be happening, I guess, now. Uh, I gotta get all this edited up, trying to get her up a bit earlier for you today. I know last night was late, but uh, that's because uh, the editor takes a while for, um, whenever I speed up clips and stuff like that, the uh, Pinnacle editor seems to do it pretty much frame by frame. So if you got a big hunk to do, it takes a while. So but anyways, today wasn't probably too bad. So, but anyways, that's it for today. You guys have a good one. Uh, Farm Sim Saturday up tomorrow. She's a freaking huge one. Uh, grab a freaking lazy boy seat thing or something soft to sit on to watch that one because she's uh, two hours and almost 45 minutes. So we uh, started a new map. Um, that uh, Kansas map is fine, but it's just so freaking huge. You know, that, uh, that field 10 especially, I did her a few times over the taters just when it was all screwing up. And uh, man, it took freaking forever. So. This other map I got you guys will like. It's pretty sweet. Nice nice size, not too huge. And uh, we did uh, include a few mods to it, uh, the cedars and stuff, and the one um, uh, the one harvester I really like now. So, But anyways, uh, that's up for tomorrow. So you guys have a good day and stuff, and uh, thanks for watching today. And uh, we'll get working back on that bucket soon, hopefully. And um, even this weekend, I'm pretty pumped to work on her. So, But uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, Oh, and I got a funeral Monday, so it's going to be... Uh, dodgy what we're doing so but anyways uh we'll talk to you then have a good day